Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Glow channel and today I'd like to present to you this pretty nice and high quality Polish fixture made by Mesco in Skarzysko Kamienna. It is the same manufacturer that made many Polish streetlights for many years. Also the OURWs or OURW that I showed also on my channel. This fixture is uh, a fixture that is uh, supposed to be mounted on poles like maybe five or six meters high at the most and is uh, suited to light up uh, city parks or um, like uh, free time centers sometimes they also lit up streets with these mounted uh, from side to side but it's not that good because it shines in all directions it's really better suited for parks and as you can see here i make a made a little makeshift uh, mount here that is to just uh, show it to you and demonstrate it the way it should be it has an aluminum cast uh, uh, like well what what do you call that uh, holder the po there is a porcelain e40 socket in that and this fixture does not have any gear in fact these were made with two different styles the one was without any gear with the e40 socket to use incandescent bulbs or blended mercury bulbs like the one that i have uh, used here like this osram uh, hwl uh, that are basically self ballasted uh, mercury vapor bulbs and then we have a very thick glass refractor that hides the bulb last but not least we have this uh, stamped aluminum huge uh, roof or canopy of the fixture that can be screwed to this uh, here to this uh, lip with four screws and unfortunately i have a gasket that should go there but it's broken and for this demonstration I've taken it off because it would just fall off during the demonstration. Still I would like to shortly take off this lid here. I hope I can do that pretty easily and show you just the inside. There is not much to it. It's just the bulb and the, you can see the refractors. And that's basically it. So it's a very simple design. You can also see this glass lip where you can screw on uh, the canopy of the fixture. And let me just shortly readjust the canopy back on the fixture uh, so that we can try to fire it up. Of course, it's not that easy to do when you're in a hurry but we got it done and voila it's back on so I'd say gotten so far let's fire the thing up like I said it's a mer blended mercury vapor bulb inside so it will start in incandescent uh, a light uh, spectrum and then later it will get uh, a little more of the mercury vapor spectrum going right now it just looks like a incandescent bulb inside needless to say these kind of bulbs they were mostly used in these fixtures of course these fixtures could get an external ballast and be ballasted uh, to have a 250 watt mercury vapor bulb in them and the other version that had a 125 watt mercury vapor bulb in it and the gear inside the fixture it was way more popular and used a lot more just because it was a lot more efficient than this one is 
actually this one gets really really hot with this uh, blended mercury bulb and it takes of course it takes some time for it to get even brighter than it already is and even hotter than it already is well it was the technology of the time and they pretty much used what they had and of course some maybe even used it with incandescent bulbs these were made between the early 70s and I believe the uh, end of the 90s or even in the early 2000s. You could buy them new from this manufacturer, also, then also with the uh, 70 watt sodium bulb and built in gear. These were a little less popular since this design already has gotten a little out of fashion by the TS, but uh, they were also uh, available only with a plastic refractor that was from lesser quality than uh, this one, this glass refractor, and was prone to getting brown and yellow after extensive use. So right now we can already see that the bulb has changed color. It has gone more of the mercury vapor color to it as the arc tube uh, it warms up more and more current runs uh, through the arc tube and the uh, the filament inside that ballasts the bulb it dims down and well this is how this uh, fixture gets mercury vapor light without having to have a ballast in it at the price of course of the efficiency so It's already pretty hot right now and has got the color. Oh, there is always a little color of the uh, filament remaining with these bulbs. There is never, never a real only mercury color to it. And this is a newer bulb that has a pretty good phosphor to it too. Well, I guess I will turn this light off again. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.